How do I find or reset my Roku Wi-Fi password? Hello and welcome to our video tutorial. Today, we'll be addressing a common query, how do I find or reset my Roku Wi-Fi password? Before we start, please note that Roku itself does not have a Wi-Fi password. However, it connects to your home Wi-Fi, which has a password. If you've forgotten your Wi-Fi password, you'll have to reset it from your router. Identifying the router The first step is to identify your router. This is the device that provides the Wi-Fi signal for your Roku and other devices to connect to. Your router is typically provided by your internet service provider, ISP, and is usually a small box with lights on it. Remember, the Wi-Fi password is set on your router, not on the Roku device. Finding the default credentials Once you've identified the router, check for any stickers or labels on it. Many routers come with a default username and password. These credentials are often printed on a sticker on the router itself. Tip! It's a good idea to keep a record of this information somewhere safe in case you need it in the future. Logging into the router The next step is to log into the router using a web browser on a device connected to your Wi-Fi. The exact address you need to visit depends on the router, but common ones are 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. You'll then need to enter the default credentials you found earlier. Caution! Make sure you're entering the address in your browser's address bar, not a search engine. Changing the Wi-Fi password After logging into your router, you'll see various settings. Look for a section or tab labeled Wireless or Security. Within this section, you should see an option to change your Wi-Fi password. Enter your new password, save the changes, and then you're all done. Important! Remember that changing your Wi-Fi password will disconnect all currently connected devices. You will need to reconnect them with the new password. And that's it! Now you know how to reset your Wi-Fi password for your Roku device. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more tech-related questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.